In this video, I'll be going over how you can create a genuine tape stop effect in Ableton using just the sampler and no third-party plugins involved. This section of the song is the section that I want to create the tape stop effect in. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to create a new audio track like this one right here. I'm just going to do it over for the sake of the tutorial. And then I'm going to go to this external in and then I'm going to change it to resampling mode. I'm going to turn off this track and then I'm going to hit this arm button. And what resampling does is that it plays back all of the stuff that's playing through this track. So it becomes just like the master track, except with this track, you're able to record to it. So once I have that part recorded, I can go ahead and trim it down at the end so it's perfectly on grid. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Command L. I'm gonna select this clip, I'm gonna hit Command L so everything's selected. Then I do Command Shift L and then I hit zero to turn all the clips off and I'll just turn this one back on. I can turn this track back on and turn it back to what it was. Uh, and now we have our recording so make sure that your track volume is at zero my tracks are automatically at negative six so i have to go ahead and do that manually but now you have a perfectly smooth transition between both parts so this is the the rest of the song and it's going to transition perfectly so if you're other um, instruments are still fading out you're gonna want to turn off the tracks like automate them so that they cut out right at this part um, other than that it's a perfect transition now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna get a sampler and we're going to drag this clip into the sampler and then we're gonna drag create a MIDI clip and then go to C3 which is the bass note of the sampler uh, we're going to turn off this track right here. And again, make sure the volume is at zero. And also within the sampler, make sure the volume to velocity is at zero and turn the volume to zero as well. And now it's playing back exactly like this other track that we had. At this point, we can start to do the pitch bending effect and we want to go to this MIDI section right here and turn the pitch bend range all the way up to 24 which is the maximum it can go to and now um, we can go ahead and use our pitch bend wheel as you can tell on my camera to go ahead and create pitch uh, tape stop effects <laughs> We can do pitch up effects as well. We can do scratches and all that kind of stuff. So the way to pitch bend if you don't have a MIDI keyboard is that you can actually hit this little arrow inside the MIDI clip and hit this little E down here and then find pitch bend within the different automations that you have. And you can draw a, a tape stop. So you don't really need a MIDI keyboard to do this. But what you'll notice is that it kind of loses its place because the time starts changing and all that kind of stuff. So this is a genuine tape stop effect, so the time is going to be affected. And we want that to a certain extent, but we also want to be able to keep the time right, the timing right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this clip that we had and I'm going to drag it so it starts right where we want our tape stop to end. And we're going to take this tape stop clip and drag it so that it stops right there as well. And I'm going to turn this clip back on. And then we have a perfect transition. So something else you can do is you can actually create multiple tape stops at different positions. So let's say uh, 
we want this second tape stop right here let's solo it let's say we want it to start right here at this clap we're actually gonna find this clap within the original clip so right there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag our clip to start right there. And then I'm gonna cut this out right here. So you can have tons of samplers, as many as you need to do these kind of effects. And then let's copy, okay, let's make our new kind of pitch bend right here. And then another one at the end of this clap, or at the end of this second sampler. And now we can have two pitch bends. All right, and make sure that you have um, your pitch bend reset. So sometimes it gets messed up with the envelope, so I'm just gonna move my pitch wheel and it's gonna be reset. Uh, but sometimes you're just gonna have to like play right through the sample and kind of extend it so that it resets to the original value. And there you have it, you have multiple pitch bends or tape stops. You can also pitch it up and do scratches and stuff. Again, I'm have to move my wheel. Let's do one that's like less high. And you guys kind of get the point. You guys can go crazy with this and do your own creative effects. I think it's really awesome that you can do this with Ableton in the sampler and not have to use any other external plugins. And it just gives you more control. So it's a little bit messy, or it can get messy, but at least you have the option to perfectly tune your tape stop and do whatever you want to this way and uh, retime the clip by just starting over and placing the clip where you want it to start again. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and have fun with this, and I'll see you guys next time.